Hi everybody, it's Shauna here again, helping you through another one of Try Hack Me's Junior Penetration Tester Learning Path modules. Today we're gonna to be working on subdomain enumeration, so let's get started. Now, one thing I just wanna tell you is that this is just gonna be a quick recap. I'm not gonna really be explaining anything and why it's working. I think that Try Hack Me does a really good job of explaining what's going on. This is just to get you through in case you're stuck. So I'll be giving to, if it's just a word answer, I'll be giving you the answer to that. But if it is a flag, I will blur out the flags, but I will show you exactly how to get it. And I'll show you some little tough areas that people might be getting hung up on for you to look out for to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So let's get started. Okay, so we find ourselves here. I'm going to get the attack box started and then I'm going to start the machine and we'll get those loaded up. And while that's happening, let's take a look at task number one. And the reason I give the manual um, the word answers is because sometimes I found that Try Hack Me is a little bit specific in how they want the word answer to be. Not always, but sometimes, you know, they'll want to have a forward slash in there. Sometimes they'll want things to be um, capitalized. Um, it's not always that way, but sometimes you'll find it that way. So that's why I'm giving you the word answer. So for task number one, what is the subdomain enumeration method beginning with B? The answer is brute force, two words. What is a subdomain enumeration method beginning with O? The answer is OSINT, O-S-I-N-T, capitalized. What is a subdomain enumeration method beginning with V? The answer there is virtual host, two words. Okay, so for task number two, they want us to go to this website right here, and they want us to put in the name tryhackme.com and find this particular entry and enter the domain below to answer the question. So let's just do that right now. I'm just gonna right click on this and open it in a new window so that it doesn't um, take me out of my attack box or anything. And over here, we're gonna put in the um, domain of tryhackme.com and do a search. And so they're telling us to look for the one on 12-26-2020. So let's go back to 2020, 1226, and it was for store.tryhackme.com. So that is the answer right there, store.tryhackme.com, and that'll give you the correct answer. So let's go on to task number three. Okay, so for task number three, we're gonna be looking for other subdomains using Google. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on Google. I'm gonna open it in a new window again so that I don't, um, so that I don't um, close my attack box. And I'm just gonna put this information right here into Google, copying it. And let me go back and paste it. And we see right here that what is the Try Hack Me subdomain beginning with B discovered using the above Google search? And again, that was this one right here, which is blog.tryhackme.com, blog.tryhackme.com. So let's go on to task number four, DNS brute force. Okay, task number four is gonna be really easy because they're gonna be simulating out for us at Try Hack Me. They're gonna be simulate um, using this uh, function called, it's a, sorry, it's a utility called DNS Recon. And so if we click view site right here, it will open up a mock a terminal. Um, so this is kind of showing us how we would do it on our own. And it would show us how we put in this coding right here. And we're gonna be searching on this domain right here. And if we hit run DNS recon request, it's gonna run the request for us and it's going to show subdomains. And so two records were found. The question is, what is the first subdomain found on the DNS recon tool? And that is this one right here, api.acmeitsupport.thm. API so we're gonna put that in right here, api.acmeitsupport.thm, and that will give you the correct answer. So let's go on to task number five. 
Task number five is going to be equally simple because we're not really going to be using the tools ourselves. We're going to be using this simulator of the tool that TryHackMe has created for us. So on task number five, again, just click view site and it's going to open up the new simulator and it's going to show you how if we were doing this on our own in our own terminal window, we would put in this kind of um, coding. Um, it's going to bring up this Python script and minus D and then the domain you want to run this tool against and you hit run sublister request and it's going to be searching, searching, searching and look at there. It's finding a bunch right there. So what is the first subdomain discovered by sublister? And that is this right here. It is web55.acmesupport.thm. And so you put that in down here, web55.acmeitsupport.thm. And that gives you the correct answer. So let's move on to task number six. So in task number six, we're going to be doing a similar thing, um, only we're going to be doing it on our own. So as you can see in the attack box down here, when you open up new sites, they um, will show up down here. And so you want to click over here to get back to your attack box. And then once you click over back to your attack box, you have your, um, it looks like an Ubuntu device that we use um, with TryHackMe. So we can just close this window and we can open up another terminal window and we're gonna perform some of the functions that they have for us right here. So first what they want us to do is run this set of instructions. So um, first thing to know, a lot of people get confused is they try to copy this entire thing. They should not. The user at machine, this section right here, is corresponding to your root, root user at and then your IP address. So that part is already taken care of. You only need to be copying in these instructions right here for using the fuff tool and then the instructions for what the fuff tool needs to do. So I'm going to copy this section right here and then I'm going to go over to the clipboard function and I highly recommend that you always do this and I'm going to click paste to paste it into there. So now this information is available on the clipboard of the attack box and I highly recommend that you do that because now I can go into the terminal, I can right click and hit paste and I can make sure that there's not any typos and I could run this tool right now. So now what they're asking us to do is they're wanting us to look for the file size, the most common file size that we're seeing, because what we're gonna do is we are going to filter for that file size so that rather than all of these positive results that's giving us, we can get the ones that um, are actually germane to our search. So if we look through here, we see size 2395 over and over again. 2395, 2395. Um, let me make the view a little bit bigger for you guys so you can see what I am talking about. So here we go, um, 2395. So what we're gonna do is, here I'm just gonna push clear to make this a little bit more legible for you guys. So now we're gonna go down here and we're gonna do this form of a search. And I'm just going to, again, I'm gonna right click copy, go to the keyboard clipboard, and I'm gonna clear it of the past information. I'm gonna hit paste. And now I'm gonna go up here, right click and hit paste, okay? But before we hit enter on this one, right here where it says size, we want to delete that entire thing and we wanna put the size of that file, which was 2395. And whoops, it didn't uh, delete the size for me. So let me go back, 2395, hit enter. There we go. So now what is the first subdomain discovered? So right here you can see the first domain is Delta. And then the second domain right here is yellow. And so that completes it. We have accomplished the subdomain enumeration module. I hope that this helped you. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be posting the entire junior penetration um, tester course. And I hope that I can help somebody else out there. Happy hacking, guys. Bye-bye.